I want to join Archbishop Thompson in acknowledging the family and to extend our condolences to them. We are so grateful uh, for the presence of so many bishops here today, uh, particularly Archbishop Thompson, Archbishop Vigneron. Uh, we're honored to have Bishop Hying back with us again, the fourth bishop of the Diocese of Gary. And of course, a word of thanks to all of those who have been involved in preparing these funeral liturgies over these days with great dedication and love for our Bishop Melchek. I do want to share with you a letter that we received on behalf of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, sent by his Cardinal Secretary of State, Cardinal Pietro Parolin. The Most Reverend Robert J. McClory, Bishop of Gary. His Holiness, Pope Francis, was saddened to learn of the death of Bishop Emeritus Dale Mel Joseph Melchek and he sends his prayerful condolences to you and to the clergy, religious, and lay faithful of the diocese, recalling with gratitude the late bishop's many years of devoted Episcopal ministry to the church in Gary, his zeal for Catholic education, and his commitment to fostering the lay apostolate his Holiness joins you in commending his soul to the merciful love of Christ the Good Shepherd, to those present at the Mass of Christian burial, and to all who mourn Bishop Melchek in the sure hope of the resurrection. The Holy Father imparts his blessing as a pledge of peace and consolation in the Lord. Cardinal Pietro Parolin, Secretary of State. He was the running bishop. That's how I first came to know Bishop Malchek. You see, I grew up in Royal Oak, Michigan. I lived on 2nd Street. Uh, bishop Melchek lived closer to 6th Street, about a half a mile away. 4th Street, when I was younger, was his running pattern. And as we drove by, my parents said, that's Bishop Melchek. He's the one running. Of course, Bishop Melchek always kept himself very physically fit. Uh, even in those last days, uh, when I visited him at hospice, uh, they commented and said, you know, most his age are kind of skin and bones, but he's got some real muscle on him. You know, he was, he was good and fit. Now, the other day we heard yesterday in the reception of the body this passage which shows that running is actually a biblical image. In Hebrews, we hear, let us persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of our faith. Bishop Melchuk not only kept himself, kept himself physically fit, but spiritually fit. And to know Christ, to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, doesn't mean we have blinders on. Because in the life of Bishop Melchek and all of us, the closer we gaze upon Jesus, he gives us that peripheral vision to be even more attentive to the needs of those who surround us. And that certainly was emblematic of the life of Bishop Melchek. He saw and sought to heal the wounds of racism, to feed the hungry, to pass on the faith and education to the next generation, and on and on and on, serving those who were in need. Now today I'm less compelled to share about the great accomplishments, and there are a lot of those, but I'm drawn to the more simple memories of Bishop Melchek. The wise advice that he gave me, regularly seeing him in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament in our pastoral center, as he would still faithfully come day after day. St. Paul returns to this image of running a race. It's really in his valedictory remarks, as we read in his second letter to Timothy. He says, you know, the race is close to being finished for him, and this is what he says. The time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me. 
Bishop Melchuk ran the race of his life with his eyes fixed on Jesus. And in these latter days, the eyes of Jesus were gazing upon Dale Joseph Melchuk. The best tribute we could give to him is to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and to allow his sight to overtake ours so that we too, each in our own way, can respond to those needs before us as Christ would have us. Less than a week before he died, Bishop Melchuk and I exchanged uh, voicemails. I offered him a word of congratulation on 30 years of his coming to the Diocese of Gary, and uh, he left me a voicemail back. Um, I have found a way to save that voicemail, uh, and I have to tell you, I've listened to it uh, over a dozen times uh, just to hear his voice, uh, his goodness, um, he said, all I really want to say is that I'm so grateful for your many, many, many kindnesses. Thank you so much. God bless you. Be aware you're in my prayers, and thank you so very, very much. God bless. And he went on with other things. And this was just classic Bishop Melchuk. Encouraging, prayerful, grateful. And so now we express our gratitude once again to Dale Joseph Melchuk. We thank you for being a true shepherd who loved your flock, a hopeful leader, a compassionate pastor, a loving servant, and to me, a dear brother bishop and friend. And we pray now that you, that fit bishop, the one who ran not just to keep himself physically fit, but spiritually fit, will receive that prize, that crown for which you sought and we entrust you to the mercy of Jesus. Well done, good and faithful servant.